Hello everyone watching out there, it's Terry Schilling and this video is about how to write a sales page headline that converts like crazy. And one of the easiest things to do when writing a headline is to get stuck. But I want to help you get unstuck, avoid writer's block, write a headline that is going to get in the head of your ideal customer. Okay, so you may be wondering, Terry, how can you do this? Well, I'm going to answer that by bringing on a fellow copywriter and friend of mine, Marisa Corcoran. You may have seen her across the internet. She is the creator and host of the very popular Copy Chat Virtual Summit, and she also runs the popular, same name, Copy Chat Facebook group. And I had her on my Proceed With Passion live show, and I asked her this question, what is your best sales page headline copy tip? And she shared this proven approach that I think you guys will find very helpful. It's one that I use all the time to write effective headlines. So I think you're going to enjoy this one. So enjoy this clip from my interview with Marisa Corcoran. What is your best then sales page headline copy tip? Oh, I love this. Okay. So I think a lot of times people are trying to be in their copy cave. And I think a lot of times what we do as copywriters or even, you know, business owners trying to do like headlines is we're just, we are trying to guess at what people would want to see there. And right. I think the absolute best headlines are your ideal clients have likely said it to you in a testimonial. Yes. Or you need to go out and actually have conversations with them and yeah. make what they say the headline and not try to like zhuzh it up or like make it sound better. But when people are in the Copy Confidence Society, we talk about sales pages and inevitably I always ask them, I'm like, I want to see a list of like recent testimonials that you have. And I just like sit down seven minutes, seven to 10 minutes with like a cup of tea. And I just go through and I start to highlight all the things that people have said in testimonials. Then I'm like, this needs to be your headline. This needs to be what it is, what it is. So going and stop trying to guess and actually ask people, you got to write a bunch of shitty headlines. Like nobody's oh, yeah. like, oh. you know, yeah. and um, the king of headlines himself, Justin Blackman said this on the copy chat last season, Yeah, he, doing the headline project. I mean, he was just writing, he just let it be shitty until, so sometimes when I used to write for clients, I mean, I was writing 20, 25 headlines. And like, yeah. they were all shit except for like two or three of them. Yeah. Yeah, I would, I do that too still. And I like share majority of them with the client, but I, and I just be real with them. I'm like, look, a lot of, I'm just, I throw these out there to see what you really don't like and what's in the right direction. And if one really sticks, then let me know that too. Right. I mean like, you know, but it starts with like 15 to 30 and then I'll like really break it down into like maybe, you know, 10 or less to share with them that I think they may like. Yeah, and I usually find that the best ones is something that someone said, said not yeah. something that I created. Yeah, that's the big thing. It's just like the research that goes into copywriting. You know, some people just think it's like, oh, it's all in your brain, right? You just go ahead and, you know, here's here's a brief. Hey, let me see what you got. But it's just like the great copy lives in a lot of your ideal customers' heads. And like, it's already out there on the internet. So yeah, I just always say I was really good at organizing what yeah, other people said. Go. Nothing yeah. was really like my own. It was what other people said that I could go, oh, and I can make it like look really good on, you know, virtual paper. And there you go, everybody. Such a great tip in conversation with Marisa there. Be sure to check out the whole Proceed with Passion Live interview with Marisa. She dives deep into how she came up with the idea for the Copy Chat Virtual Summit and how to grow a Facebook group and some other helpful copywriting tips to help write your uncopyable message, something that is your unique value proposition to attract the right clients. But I hope this copy tip was helpful. If you guys do find these videos enjoyable, be sure to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Terry Shilling Creative, to catch when I go live with Proceed With Passion, where I bring on other creative entrepreneurs and go ahead and look up the coolest copywriting newsletter on the internet. There I share exclusive content to my email list weekly. A lot of good stuff in there. Good conversations with people too in the reply. So I enjoy you guys for watching this video and following along. We'll see you next time.